All right, the Bengals travel to take on the Bills. You know, I'm not sure that 4-1 to neutral game script recipe is working for the Bengals, but their defense isn't working either, and they're being pushed into that. Bills are 2-0. and I'm surprised at this game line. At thought it home, would be closer. I did. I thought it would be closer. The Bills are six-point home favorites against Cincinnati here. The game's a 44-point over-under. No! I'm tempted to... Oh. Andy's almost upset of the week. Well, you guys were giving Andy Dalton so much love earlier in the show by extension <laughs> yeah. of your comments that I might as well get we in like on... I we like him I more just, than Gardner? I really do think the Bills win this game. I think it just goes down to the wire. You're going to have mistakes from both sides of the football Bills have a, a a great defense, but we have seen the Bengals move the ball. And, you know, in week one, I think that's the template I'm looking at. In week one, it was a nail-biter between the Bengals and the, the Seahawks, right? And that was in Seattle, and that went down to the wire. So, you know, that's the template I'm seeing here. I think a game's closer than a six-point line. It's, it's fair, but the Bills are going to win. Okay. Well, that's something that... Has rarely been said with such conviction over the last. The Bills 10 are years. The, their defense is fantastic and the offense is good enough now. Well, I certainly love Josh Allen this week. He's yes. got a great opportunity against the Bengals defense that is 23rd in the league against fantasy quarterbacks, 32nd in the league against fantasy running backs. And yes, I'm quoting both for Josh Allen because he likes to run the football. You must start Josh Allen in this game. Agreed. He's a great option. Andy Dalton on the road here, not a stream-worthy candidate. They can't run the football right now. We mentioned Joe Mixon is at, what, 1.59 yards per carry on the year so far. Still got a bum ankle. Seems difficult that this is going to change on the road against Buffalo. I, I I do think it could change on the road against Buffalo. Not not that it's going to be a great game, but we have to remember. I, I think people who have personally had Joe Mixon, they've been going through that experience. It's been a rough one. He's been terrible. He's There's been, been support injured. groups. Yes. But, you know, it's one of those things where there's been – this is a new offense, a new offensive system being installed. So many of his good runs have been called back on penalty. He's been injured. Now another week to get healthy. He is still a great back, and I think he's a startable asset, and a lot of people won't touch him right now. I, I have confidence to say, look, he's not – this isn't his best matchup. He's not going to be a, a top 10 back this week. But if I had him, I would be starting him. You are the highest on Mixon this week. You've got him at 19 on your ranking. So, like you said, not not an RB1, but a player you're fine starting. On the other side, Frank Gore. This, this is happening. Oh, it's yeah. It's happening. This is, look, this is all on the health of Devin Singletary. To me, uh, the hamstring, if you missed – what had happened, Devin Singletary had a run to the outside. He pulled up lame with the and had to do the one-legged scoot out of bounds because the hamstring is a problem. We don't have an official word yet that Devin Singletary is going to miss. It just appears to be trending that way. And Frank Gore got a bunch of work. I mean, efficiency be darned. It doesn't matter because I'm picking the Bills to win this game, and I think that Frank Gore is going to see a lot of work. Yeah, it's a shame that Singletary got banged up. We were starting to see him emerge yes. as a big play type of guy. He actually leads the NFL with five 15-plus yard runs on only 10 attempts. So he, he was uh, showing the fantasy football community what he had, and, and now, unfortunately, you're going to have to wait a little while, most likely. You're not going to see those runs from Gore. No, he has zero of them on 30 attempts. Not shocking. Yeah. Does he just go down at about the 14-yard mark if necessary to if preserve necessary, that? If necessary, he will. There's there's a certain style of running you have to do to be infinite, to be all. It. I'm picturing the mental picture of like a robot running out of battery, like at the 14. <laughs> and <laughs> See, I picture him more of like he is actually a superhero in real life, but he has to do the thing where he, he – you got to pull the punches, or right. you'll be exposed. He should pull just a few, few fewer. Let, yeah, a few fewer. <laughs> yeah, John Brown. Would you start him? Yes. yes. All right. He's got a twenty-seven percent target share right now and a hundred and forty-four target pace. That's in, incredible. So John Brown. We'll, yeah, we'll see. He he's 
you know, he started hot last year. We saw that. And then, you know, didn't. But there was a quarterback changeover. So, yeah. Tyler Boyd. Yep. John Ross. I am playing him uh, in three wide receiver uh, leagues and or as a, as a flex in unless I have like a, a fantastic option but this is this is the, the the big test for John Ross I know he scored most of his points last week on the garbage time touchdown so we'll see does he get the targets that he received in in week one but he's got a really really tough matchup here he should see a lot of Tredavious white so this is a big test for John Ross to see if he is actually living up to that first round draft I would uh, draft I would price. prefer to not start John Ross this week I get it the stat line last week you just brought it up it was very inflated by a super late garbage time score um, th this is one of those things where John Ross is not going to just be great every week of the season agree there's gonna be plenty of bad weeks is this Buffalo this home, is probably home opener? I believe it is Buffalo's home opener I wanted to vet that but I th they they started I think Jets uh, on the road and okay. yes it is yeah, yeah. So it's their home opener yeah it'll be an interesting game i mean we if they win this game and if the patriots somehow knock off the jets <laughs> you'll have a 3 and 0 3 and 0 head to head matchup next week hey everybody thanks for watching if those were the best few minutes of your life you should probably click the subscribe button and check out a full length episode